Hello! Welcome to Litmus Day 2. Day 2! Uh, today we're supposed to talk about our favorite flash fiction, which I guess is a piece that's under a thousand words. And I was thinking about this last week, I figured, you know, I could talk about Hemingway because I read his complete short stories last year, or I could talk about Steinbeck since I basically read everything under the sun by him, but then I realized you're supposed to talk about your favorite. And to be honest, my favorite everything is usually not well acclaimed. My favorite book is Meg, so clearly I don't have the best taste in books. But like I said, I have to be honest. So I'm gonna share with you my favorite or some of my favorite flash fiction pieces, stories, um, from a treasury a book treasury that I loved so dearly in the fourth and fifth grade and have loved ever since. I read this every year in October. I read this this October. I just didn't talk about it, but um, yeah, it's one of my favorites. And I think most people my age and maybe a bit older will remember these. At least I hope you do. Um, if you don't, please read them because they're wonderful. And yes, for the most part, these stories have been banned time and time again, but I don't care. Read them anyway. Scary Stories Treasury by Alvin Schwartz. I know, judge me. I'm gonna read to you just a couple and it's gonna be great, okay? Okay. The first short story I'm gonna share with you is called The Girl Who Stood on a Grave, which this story is inspired by like old folklore. This is an old legend. I'm sure if you hear this, you might recognize this story. I've heard this since I was a kid and I just, I love this story. So I'm gonna share this with you now. Cue the scary music. Some boys and girls were at a party one night. There was a graveyard down the street and they were talking about how scary it was. Don't ever stand on a grave after dark, one of the boys said. The person inside will grab you. He'll pull you under. That's not true, one of the girls said. It's just a superstition. I'll give you a dollar if you stand on a grave, said the boy. A grave doesn't scare me, said the girl. I'll do it right now. The boy handed her his knife. Stick this knife in one of the graves, he said. Then we'll know you were there. The graveyard was filled with shadows and was as quiet as death. There is nothing to be scared of, the girl told herself, but she was scared anyway. She picked out a grave and stood on it. Then quickly she bent over and plunged the knife into the soil and she started to leave but she couldn't get away. Something was holding her back. She tried a second time to leave, but she couldn't move. She was filled with terror. Something has got me, she screamed, and she fell to the ground. <laughs> when she didn't come back, the others went to look for her. They found her body sprawled across the grave. Without realizing it, she had plunged the knife through her skirt and had pinned it to the ground. It was only the knife that held her. She had died of fright. The moral of the story, I would have to say, after long thought and execution, don't be a dumbass. Okay, that's litmus day two. We're done, we're done. Wait, I was gonna share a couple, wasn't I? Damn it, I don't wanna read anymore. <laughs> oh, then there's this one called The Viper. Oh my God, it's so stupid. <laughs> okay, let me share it with you, okay. A widow lived alone on the top floor of an apartment house. One morning, her telephone rang. Hello, she said. This is the Viper, a man said. I'm coming up. Somebody is fooling around, she thought, and hung up. A half hour later, the telephone rang again. It was the same man. It's the Viper, he said. I'll be up soon. The widow didn't know what to think, but she was getting frightened. Once more, the telephone rang. Again, it was the Viper. I'm coming up now, he said. She quickly called the police. They said they would be right over. When the doorbell rang, she sighed with relief. There they are. Shit, my light died. Sorry. <laughs> um, when the doorbell rang, she sighed with relief. They are here, she thought. But when she opened the door, there stood a little old man with a bucket and a cloth. I am the viper, he said. I wish to wash and wipe the windows. Was that funny? That might not have been funny. I thought it was funny, okay? So my light died. I forgot to charge the battery. Oops, I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Have you read these stories? I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions. This is going to be a terrible week. I don't even know what the prompt for day three is. Whatever, I'll see you tomorrow, I hope.